Hello and welcome back to another soap video from the Wild and Wooly Farm. This time we will make the lye ourselves from wood ash, which we have a lot of because we are firing with wood in our stove for cooking and uh, getting the house warm. So in our stove we mostly fire with uh, leafy trees, hardwood these days. So. That's excellent for making lye, while softer woods like pine is not so good. So first I am straining out the coal and the big pots. It's the white stuff we want to have the most of for the lye making. It's kind of logical because it's the minerals which are left after the burning. So now I just need to put on some water and put it to boil. It is possible to just uh, strain it through the ash, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to do it this way now because it's faster and it makes a stronger lye, so I'm wet at least. Now it has been simmering for about an hour and looks like uh, delicious mud water. So now I'm just going to strain it through this uh, in a cloth. Here are the leftover after straining. I will leave the kettle overnight so that all the residue can sink and settle nicely at the bottom.
So the next morning it looks much clearer. You can see. Uh, so the leftover I will set in a jar to clear even more of the liquid. But now I will start to boil down this one. Now it has been simmering for about an hour, I think. I, I am so fascinated to see that uh, all the residue now uh, is laying on the bottom. And uh, otherwise the liquid is quite clear. It's a bit amazing to think that this mud bath I had here yesterday now is like this. Chemistry is so much fun. I will check if the lye water is strong enough and that for that I will need a potato. Almost there. It is floating but it is supposed to have like a tenth I think over the top. So a little bit more. Ha! Huh, but it is definitely floating so. Wow, you can see it on the camera, right? Yeah. So, a little bit more. Okay, potato test. Now it's floating with about that 10% over the liquid, so that is supposed to mean that uh, the lye water now is strong enough for the soap making. And I started to melt some fat in the beside here. Now my lye water is cooling down a bit and the fat has melted and it's probably way too hot so I will have to measure it up and cool it down to the same temperature before blending it together. Meanwhile I have found the recipe. Uh, it's really not uh, the same as with regular lye, it's more like a try and error, error but um, the main thing is to have uh, to start with uh, one part of uh, fat and three fourths part of lye water. So I will do that and uh, yeah.
I'm mixing up uh, one liter of melted lamp fat, which I have rendered earlier in the last soap video. And here the end result of the lye water is a 7.5 deciliter I'm blending it together and uh, yeah it actually blends immediately like with the regular lye as long as I'm continue stirring that is. It is not heating itself so much as uh, when I use natrium lye. So I'm following up on the temperature to check when I have to warm it a bit to keep the process going. Well, now it smells like uh, the ordinary lye water uh, usually does when we mix it together with the uh, with fat. It's not uh, as strong but definitely the same does the same smell. So now the liquid became kind of grainy grainy and uh, like water and oil didn't mix so well together so it was time to heat it a bit. And now it is blending nicely again. I have repeated this three times now and you can see it is kind of creamy now. I have only stirred it for 1 hour and 15 minutes with the three reheatings. So it actually goes kind of fast. It looks almost completely like regular soap base. But I think it's a little bit more gel-like. So the bar soap will be kind of soft and will use a lot of time to get hard. Uh, I have read that it is possible to get it harder by mixing salt into the blend. But uh, this time I would like to try to do it without, just to see how it went. So the leftover here I am going to put in this box to make liquid soap out of. It looks really tasty, like vanilla cream. This is so cool, I'm going to wash the kettle and here it's already a lot of tough bubbles. So no doubt about this is soap I have made. <laughs> cool. To keep the soap process going, I have uh, covered the soap bars through the night and now the next morning it is yeah, it's a little bit hotter than the surface around but not as much as with regular soap and it's still soft but a bit harder. Yeah, 
regular soap would have been about two degrees higher than the room. Here is only one degree higher. So I have waited till the afternoon and now I'm going to cut it into pieces and uh, dry it up for several weeks. It is a bit too soft, so I should probably have waited a little bit longer. I will leave these soap bars to be for some weeks or at least some days before checking on them again and get to the liquid soap making. It is really so easy and a good time to do it. I just need to blend in cold water a little at a time till I get the consistency I want. It looks a bit like melted cheese and it's a bit sticky, but uh, the water is blending amazingly well into it. When I have the consistency I want, I'm just putting in some drops of etheric oils. Uh, I only use citrus this time because that's a good clean smell. This soap is ready to use right away and I'm testing it for the first time here. Nice bubbles and really successful consistency I think. So it washes off everything great. Here is the soap bar after one week. It is not finished yet, but it uh, looks and feels like soap. I think I will do something about the surface though. Other than that, it is just uh, will have to cure and uh, dry for some time. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe out there in YouTube land. Bye.